A coffee maker requires 50 grams of coffee to make a single cup. If the total quantity of available coffee is 10.5 ounces, then quantity A and B, we're asked to compare the relationship. So we want to figure out whether quantity A is always greater, quantity B is always greater, if they're equal, or if we just can't determine the relationship. All right, so let's go ahead and figure this thing out. So to figure this out, here's what we have to do. We need to go ahead and just compute these values because we're given some solid numbers here. You know, we need 50 grams of coffee per cup. We see that we have 10.5 ounces available. I don't like that we have ounces and grams. So we're gonna convert here. And we see that we have one ounce is 28.3 grams. So what I can say here is immediately, not 10.5 ounces, but 10.5 ounces multiplied by 28.3 to get that in grams. And so this is 297.15 grams. So that's how much total coffee we have available. And so now let's go ahead and compare quantity A and quantity B. Let's compute them. Quantity A, the coffee consumed in making three cups. So the coffee consumed in making three cups, if it's 50 grams per cup, then that's 50 times three, or 150 grams for three cups. Now, how much coffee is remaining after making three cups? Well, we had a total of 297.15 grams. We'll subtract the 150 grams it takes to make those three cups, and we will receive 147.15 grams. So we're comparing these two values, and we can clearly see that quantity A is greater. So there we have it. Hope this helps.